Alex Polizzi is an award-winning hotelier with over 20 years experience of working in the world's most luxurious hotels. Born into the legendary Forte hotel dynasty, she's on a crusade to transform Britain's most desperate hotels and B&Bs. I want to go into a darkened room and walk backwards and forwards. From outrageous owners <laughs> to dodgy decor. There's quite possibly the ugliest sofa in Britain. Nothing escapes the hotel inspector's beady eyes. This is a written slap in the face. Ha, ha, ha. Or her quest for perfection. You're a difficult man to work with. I probably know more than Alex believes he does. Bollocks to that, mate. This week, the hotel inspector reaches the end of her tether. <laughs> I hate this place. I hate it. I find it quite depressing. The smell is really awful. Can I ask you something? No, don't, just don't ask. This is where I have to accept that I might fail. Please don't shout out to me. You know what, darling? I don't know that this is going to work. The Paramount, a nine-bedroom hotel in Nottingham owned by Egyptians Mary and Milad Mansour. We're going to do a love heart because we've got somebody coming. <laughs> Having invested their life savings to buy the struggling hotel seven years ago, the couple set about rebuilding it in their own unique image. When we first bought the business, it was really very old, so I started decorating different colours. I'm planting my plastic flowers. These ones are nice. <laughs> With the focus on family friendly. We have a trampoline for the customers. <laughs> the Mansours have turned the hotel into an Egyptian empire, complete with shisha cafe. It is quite, quite a very nice um, and chilling atmosphere. And the exotic theme continues inside with the hotel's very own Indian restaurant. We used to have 30 seater and it's a 30 people. It's completely different now. It's not like before at all. When the customer come inside, I try to grab him and don't let go. But despite their best endeavors, Mary and Milad are all at sea. Ah! Sorry. Running the business 24 7, it's no break. We break down. <laughs> Milad, it is not. Done properly. What have you done? I'm not scared of anyone. <laughs> Except <laughs> Mary, of course. <laughs> Where is the coffee? There, the dark one. I find him laid back um, and I go mad and I get really agitated. Okay, Mila, it's not. Okay, okay, okay. It's too much. And I don't know how long we can cope. With the Paramount struggling to turn a profit, the Mansours have been forced to work 24-7, a lifestyle that's starting to impact on the couple's two children. When I started, I said, you had a good dream, and then it suddenly become a nightmare. We're just despaired, confused, tired. If we try to walk away, I will, be, I, I will lose more than £200,000. I think we are in deep sugar up to here. Enter the hotel inspector. Can industry expert Alex Polizzi put the Paramount on the road to recovery? It looks pretty run down. I can count four different types of sign, none of them very appealing. She will be calling you darling. Yeah, so? Yeah, that's why you are happy, looking forward to her. Even if she told me, oh, you bloody idiot, I will smile and say, thank you very much. OK, to fair me, enough. I will say, but pardon me. Why? Don't call me idiot. To experience the hotel firsthand, Alex will stay the night. Hi. Hello. Hello, Alex. Mary, I'm yes. Alex. Hello, Alex. Milad. So nice to meet you. You too. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for inviting me to your hotel. It's a pleasure. Good. <laughs> Who's going to take me to my room? Mary. 
Thank you. Lovely. Alex. Thank you. I'll follow you. The hotel has nine ensuite rooms, ranging from £40 per night, all designed to Mary's individual tastes. That is your zebra. Lovely. Room. <laughs> OK. I painted it tracotta. Um, my husband didn't like the paint, but I did what I wanted. I'm sure you always do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Thank All right, you. then. Thanks, darling. Bye-bye. Gosh. Well, tissues on the wall next to the bed. <laughs> Slightly unusual. I'm not mad about the fact that zebra has been added onto this very old-fashioned carpet. But this wouldn't be how I'd choose to do up a bedroom. How was Alex? I was a bit worried about me and her having a bath, but she's lovely. <laughs> I must check, though, that there is a mattress protector because I don't want to be sleeping in someone else's juices. <laughs> well, it's got a secondary. At least it's another layer between me and the mattress. I'm going to be grateful for small mercies on this occasion. But it seems not all the bedrooms offer the same feeling of fortification. No mattress protector and no pillow protector on the cushions. I mean, I don't really don't even want to touch them. Yet more terracotta. I do like to decorate it. Um, to my taste, and if I like it, I feel the customer would like it. I find it quite depressing, funnily enough, um, and the jaunty colour doesn't do anything for us at all. It kind of reminds me of one of those rooms in the red light district in Amsterdam. The room is clean, the room is very clean, and everything there is new, brand new. Now look at this charming bijou bathroom. <laughs> It has cobwebs everywhere. Even the ceiling is dirty, and that takes some doing. It smells really yucky. This smells of drains. They have no guests. Why are these places at least not immaculately spick and span? And downstairs, the Mansour's Indian restaurant is also under the microscope. I can't imagine that this place is that busy. You're not very far away from the centre of town, which has a quite astonishing array of restaurants. Why would you come and eat here? Last on the hit list, the Paramount's Back Garden, home to Mary and Milad's pride and joy, the Shisha Cafe. I like Shisha. I don't like this. The smell is really overwhelmingly awful. It's either of drains or of, you know, old curry. Why are there kind of bottle tops and bits of paper and cigarette butts and plastic flowers? How could you expect people to come out here with broken tiles and a completely defunct trampoline? It's kind of derelict almost. This is not a family establishment. You know, just close the whole area off. Possibly burn it down. With the Paramount's depressing decor failing to hit the heights, Alex decides it's time to get the lowdown on her hosts. OK, so, darling, do you think you're a good team? Definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Such rare honesty. <laughs> I'm doing everything. If we have an email, Milad would look at it and he would leave it. Why didn't you answer Why it? Why are you laughing? She can do whatever she likes, even if she... Milad, I don't like. I don't enjoy yeah. it. I do it because you have to. Oh, right. OK. You two are a laugh, you are. I mean, I'm amazed you've survived this long without killing each other. <laughs> I wish I will, there will be a time when we don't work together or we don't, do, we don't spend much time at work together. Do you think your children resent the fact that you dedicate your lives to here and that you don't have time for them? Yes, of course, they're very frustrated, yes. When we are with the children, we're absent-minded. We are thinking, we're talking about business, we're getting business phone calls. How long can you keep this place going the way it is now? No, we don't know. No, no answer. A nod. 
I think Millard and Mary are incredibly nice. They've got themselves into a terrible pickle with this place. It's in a really bad way. And I'm going to have a sleepless night, tossing and turning and thinking, what the hell am I going to do here? Will the Paramount push Alex over the edge? I'm really cross, you know. I've just wasted a whole morning. I don't know that I can work unless you're willing to work with me. It's up to you then, Alex. Alex Polizzi is in Nottingham, attempting to turn round the fortunes of the floundering Paramount, a nine-bedroom hotel complete with Indian restaurant and shisha cafe. I would give Alex shisha, make her go high. <laughs> <laughs> Do we two work well together at the hotel? <laughs> the answer is no. The answer is no. <laughs> Despite throwing themselves into every challenge, owners Mary and Milad are hurtling towards an uncomfortable crash landing. We have no life of our own. All our life is just here. It's nightmare. Absolutely nightmare. But after a disastrous night stay, Alex is beginning to think the hotel may already be beyond help. I had three hours sleep. There was a door underneath me that creaked at a regular interval. Someone was obviously walking in and out the whole bloody night. There is not one redeeming feature. I hate this place. I hate it. You know, all I want to do is leave. Will breakfast, served in the hotel's in-house Indian restaurant, improve Alex's appetite? It's not exactly what you would hope for in the morning, is it? I kind of expect it to be crap, so at least I'm not disappointed. I just don't think Mary and Millard have any idea about what people really want. You know, you can't pretend this is somewhere that normal people will want to come, because it just isn't. With the Paramount failing on all fronts, Alex desperately needs the Mansours to wake up and smell the bacon. But the couple's haphazard working schedule means Mary's been too busy to speak to Alex, while Milad has only just arrived. Mary? Yeah. Right. Yeah, she's coming. That's fine. I don't want it to disintegrate into a cat fight. But the fact that they can't even face meeting me in the morning is really getting on my tits. Her patience exhausted, the hotel inspector hits the warpath. Morning. I'm really cross, you know. You asked me to come and help you, and I've come willingly. Mm -hmm. But I've just wasted a whole morning. I. Well, because we've been waiting for you to be ready, one of you to be we ready. We are to ready, talk. Alex. Now you are. Yes, we are. No, no but my no. husband got heart condition. You don't care about his heart condition. If he dies, you're not going to look after me, OK? I say that I'm ready. You can First film me on shout my out own. me. OK. Because otherwise... But don't wind me up by saying... I'm not wi I'm yes, having... Yes, you're saying we wasted your morning. You know what, darling? Because I don't know that this is going to work, because actually... Yes. I really want to try and help you, but already this is a bloody difficult property to help. Already I spent the night where I didn't sleep very well, where yeah. there was a door banging backwards and forwards. <coughs> Wondering, is it possible for me to help here? Shall I walk away from this one? It's up to you then, Alex. Because I don't know that I can work unless you're willing to work with me. OK, then. All right. Do whatever you want. It's clear the stress of running the hotel 24-7 is beginning to show. I was very surprised when Mary started getting cross with me and shouting at me. It's going to be very hard, well nigh impossible in fact, to work with someone who has such a complete inability to accept criticism. When it comes to telling me I haven't done enough, I can't take it. Anyone who tells me I haven't done enough, I just, I don't know what I'll do. It was all in all the wrong button to press me, really. And for Alex, scaling the mountain of problems at the Paramount might prove a step too far. I have such a sinking feeling about the Paramount. This is where I have to accept that I might fail, because uh, the scale of the change necessary is so enormous. What I'm going to suggest to them is going to be like prescribing aspirin for septicemia. I can't really see that without a miracle it's going to work. Alex believes that when it comes to offering a warm and welcoming stay, 
this Egyptian couple are very much in denial. So come down this way. The first stage of her rescue plan, getting the Mansours to realize just how far their standards have sunk. The first impression is not good. OK. Just because of the information you're giving customers. Right. Instead of taking one sign away and then changing everything, you've just added a sign. Yeah. You also have these two different signs again. And because it looks a mess, it looks mm. like it's not a professional establishment. Right. Yeah? Guys, look at this. Mm. Look at the fruit shoot bottles. Mm. Look at the Rizzler packet. It looks like a failing business. And that is a very bad thing to look like because, you know, people believe what they see. Mm -hmm. The bedrooms will also need bringing into line. I don't want to sleep in a hotel mm. on a bed that doesn't have a mattress protector or on pillows that don't have pillow protectors. You know what people do in beds. You don't want to be lying on it. Yeah. <laughs> Every door in the house should be squeak tested. This kind of basic stuff we have got to get on top of if there's any chance of getting your occupancy up. OK? OK. okay. All right. Step two, Alex wants to tackle the couple's madcap approach to management. You two are very busy, but not very effective. You cannot just keep running around like headless chickens here, firefighting, because that's all you're doing. Yeah. It's an yeah. exhausting way to live, darling. There's a very basic problem here, yeah. which is that you've got everything a bit the wrong way round. And Alex has a radical plan to help the Mansours manage the hotel more effectively. I don't know if you're going to like this, but in my considered professional opinion, let's just close this restaurant down today. So I've been telling you that, Miller, for years. <clears throat> so you should be focusing on filling the rooms yeah and just let this idea die its natural death. Finally, with the Paramount failing to attract any consistent custom, Alex wants the Mansours to refocus the business, targeting local contractors looking for long-stay accommodation, a plan she believes will help both improve the couple's bottom line and free up some vital family time. There is a lot of building work happening in Nottingham. I'm sure this isn't the clientele that you would most love to have. But the nice thing about builders is they tend to turn in early and get up early mm. and get the hell out. Yeah. Mm. They're not hanging about all day mm. doing God knows what. They've got jobs to go to. The most important thing is to make sure that you have a regular income week in, week out. To help the hotel appeal to this all-new clientele, Alex plans to transform the defunct restaurant into a congenial common room. What I would like to do is turn this room into a kind of homely environment for them. There's somewhere for them to eat their stuff and actually have a chat if, or have a drink. Yeah. So this is what we've got to try and work towards. We've got to try and make sure that you can pay your bills mm -hmm. and that you can get your lives back. Is there any way we could be at home together with the children? I, th I just I think miss so. the family. Sometimes I cry, I really cry. Despite the tears, the hotel inspector departs the Paramount in a far more positive mood. I'm not pretending for a moment that I've fixed this, but at least I seem to have achieved some consensus on how to move forward. If you think that this morning it looked like I might be departing this place before we'd even had a chat, I'm amazed that I can leave now with a smile on my face. We are going to try our best and do everything she yeah. asked us to do. Okay. And get crossed. Yeah. <laughs> Shall I just leave them like no, this? No, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> With Alex gone, it's down to the Mansours to put the Paramount's rescue plan into action. Yes. Going back to basics in the bedrooms. Oh, that's lovely. Can I, can I just lay down for half an hour? Oh, that is lovely. That is really nice. Try it, Milad, honestly. And bidding a fond farewell to Milad's beloved Balti restaurant. I have been nagging him for two years to close it down. So happy now? Yes. Good. While Alex's team set about creating a contractor friendly common room, Mary gives the Paramount's pitiful exterior some personal attention. So therapeutic. That feels lovely. Replacing the plastic flowers and binning the bad signage. Yeah, I used my muscles, you see? 
Lovely. Now the rescue plan's taken off, Alex has sent in an industry expert to see if the couple are on the right path. I have asked Richard Moore from Book Trade Rooms in to consult with them because I think they need some advice as to what contractors want from a place they stay at. Obviously, first impressions, you know, really positive, great location. The key thing for contractors is obviously, first of all, is price, and second is service. Contractor accommodation, you know, midweek, potentially can be the backbone to your business. And if you get it right, and get your pricing right, and get your servicing right, contractors will come back, and that alone will build you a strong business for the future. But will Mary's personal touches in the bedroom provide the warm welcome required for her new target market? Great size room. Not quite sure on the decor, though. Whose choice were the colours? <coughs> Not me. <laughs> <laughs> so, so moving forward, you're going to choose the colours. <laughs> right. Contractors are looking for home from home. Really important that the guys who are working long shifts can relax, recharge the batteries, maybe watch a DVD, go on the internet, and go to work the next day feeling refreshed. One thing I didn't like about Richard was that he didn't like my painting. Yeah. They have blue and yellow, yellow and blue. <laughs> I complained about that paint before and like she ignored it. me. Yeah. It's clear that if the Paramount is going to cash in on the contractors, Mary's going to have to tone down her exotic tastes. You like Alex's advice? Yeah. I don't. But will Alex's drive for a less racy colour scheme put them on a collision course? If I don't like the room, I will tell Alex. I'm not going to say, wow. Yeah. OK. OK. Alex Polizzi is in Nottingham, helping Mary and Milad Mansour turn around their failing nine-bedroom Paramount Hotel. Relax, relax. I am very relaxed. You can you tell. See? Dismal occupancy rates, mismatched decor and a misfiring, bolty restaurant had all combined to drive the couple's business and working relationship to the edge. I wish there will be a time when we don't spend much time at work together. Keep wife happy. Yeah, they call me Mrs. Complain <laughs> because I'm never happy with anything. <laughs> To open up the Paramount to a wider clientele, the hotel inspectors demanded the husband and wife team clean up their act and start targeting the potentially lucrative contractor trade. But so far, Alex has found the process a little less comfortable than she'd hoped. I had one of the worst night's sleep I've ever had when I stayed here overnight. And I did think it was one of the hardest hotels I've ever tackled. I still think that they are their own worst enemies. So I'm going to have to try and save the hotel despite them. Hello, my friends. Hello, Hello. Alex. Nice to see you again. Hi. Hello. Hi. How have you got on with fixing the basics? I noticed some of the signs are gone. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. And I saw that you've planted some real flowers yes. in the flower boxes. Yes. No plastic there, darling. No I'm plastic. very impressed. They have all gone, the plastic ones. The long life yeah. <laughs> So now let's go into your dining room and I'll talk you through what I've done here. Thank you. Right. OK. Close my eyes. Alex has taken the hotel's once striking and overbearing restaurant and turned it into a warm and welcoming sitting room aimed at offering contractors a more comfortable space to relax after a hard day's work. Gone is the golden red in-your-face space, replaced with a fresh, clean and serene colour scheme. Here is your finished product. What I've tried to make sure is that you have a little sitting area and a television. Mm. So if people want to come in here mm. and get a drink, there's somewhere to sit. Mm. I've done a very neutral look to appeal to it as is, many people as possible. Lovely. I know it's not considered the glamorous end of the market, but it is very, very reliable. <laughs> I know what, how you like your bedrooms, OK? And you're flamboyant <laughs> and you're over the top. <laughs> but this place is not about you. Yeah. You've got to try and remove yourself, darling, and try and think of this as the business it needs to be. 
But is Alex's neutral palette more of a red rag? And are you happy with it? I don't like the lights. Why? Um, because they are more of a bedroom lights. Um, and they're too big. Yeah. I do like the window. The window, like this, is so depressing. Well, take the uh, film off. Well, I don't want to be told to take anything. I don't want to be given work to do. I have got enough. Um, OK, I don't like the tables. Oh, my gosh, you don't like anything. Can I ask you something? No, don't, just don't ask. OK, then, go on. Why don't you find out how your customers feel about it, darling? No, because if I don't like it, I'm sure customers will not like it. Well, if I like it, I'm sure the customers will like it. Why don't we find out who's right? No, I am right. Uh, I think I'm quite good at turning hotels around. You've had a go at doing it your way, darling. Why don't you give it a go my way and see which works better? That's right. Yeah, give I just, it a go. Give it a go. You've had a long time to fiddle about and do what you think. I mean, the chairs are uncomfortable. They just look they're not comfortable if you sit in them. Sit down and try them. They're very comfortable. I'm always right. That one is not. There's no point in you coming in and going, I, I hate it. You may hate it, but let's see if it works. Let's see if there's a good response from the customers. Let's see yeah. if it helps fill this place, because that is ultimately what I'm here to do, is try and make this business successful. And maybe I'll have to do it in the teeth of your opposition, but I'm prepared to fight that corner. I really am. OK? You have it. OK. Have it. Give me a go. Are then. you with me or against me, husband? <laughs> oh my God. Why are you taking the Alex side? Give it a we go. Have, we, had, we had seven years dry. Milad, you will be gone soon. <laughs> Come on. Oh, I don't want this camera thing. No. Oh, dear, thank you. I'm not at all surprised that Mary didn't like the makeover of the breakfast room. It is the antithesis to Mary's usual taste. Mary is all about very bold colours and gauzy bits and bright patterns. And this is quite cool and contemporary and functional. With tensions simmering over the more simplified colour scheme, Alex is now hoping she can tone down any opposition to the rest of her plan. The next stage is I've got some of the people who run contractor accommodation websites to come here and inspect the hotel very closely to really sell the hotel to them and make sure that they feel that they can recommend this hotel on their websites. OK? Yeah. I have kept a small amount of money back from the budget, a thousand pounds, to do some what I think are essential elements for at least three of the bedrooms, as many as we can afford to do, so that you have three bedrooms to show them that are really up to standard. With the couple now aiming for a clear and common goal, Alex is hoping their working relationship will benefit. Please try and remember that everything that we're doing here is aimed at trying to regain some pleasure in the business, mm. yeah? And make the time that you are actually here be more effective. You could be a very effective team if instead of bumbling round and spending lots of time kind of making each other cups of tea and patting each other on the back, yeah. that each of you have very specific goals to achieve each day, yep. yeah? A rather philosophical hotel inspector departs. I'm very disappointed that Mary doesn't like the room, but I have to believe that sooner or later she will be persuaded by the flood of positive comments from her customers. And I will come back and she will say, Alex, darling, you were right all along. I trust Alex for what she done today. Maybe Mary uh, doesn't agree as usual, but uh, I think we'll give it a shot and we'll see Next time, when Alex arrived, Mary will say, OK, sorry, Alex. Yes, What's you're right. What's to be sorry for? With the final stage of the hotel inspector's plan in place, it's time to tackle the couple's inefficient management style. Alex asked us to do a daily rota. 
Alex wants them to agree a fair and equal distribution of chores to help them work more effectively as a team. So we'll put everyone to duty, and please, Milad, I want you to stick to them. Promise. I will stick to mine. <clears throat> you stick to yours. Promise? Fantastic. Okay. From 10 o'clock in the morning, cleaning yeah. hotel. And then from 11, you do laundry uh, and ironing. I think that will take you till um, 2 o'clock. So from 2 o'clock, you do the um, maintenance check. From 4 o'clock, you do the administration. And then... Um, Guess to check in. Yeah, most of the contractors will come about 5 o'clock, so you have to check them in. Guess to when they arrive, they need to look at the pretty one not the old one, we'll say from four. <laughs> I do the ironing, you do the washing, okay? So, I'm happy with that. Fantastic. Done? Deal? Deal. You don't have to change the rotor behind my back? <laughs> no, I can't. <laughs> okay, you cook at home? Yep. Like a deal, okay. Yeah. Okay. You wash the pots. Next, following Alex's advice, Mary hits the shops as she prepares to give the bedrooms a much needed make under. I asked them to try and tart up a couple of the bedrooms, asking Mary to restrain from her, let's say, bold use of colour and do something that is more in tune with most people's colour palette. Oh, wow, look at that. Oh, I love that one, yes. I am sure Alex would love that. And if she doesn't, I'll give her one of my earrings. But I love it. Oh, this is my favorite. I want the colors to appeal to a broad spectrum of customers, and she's just got to rein her natural instincts in. While Mary's doing her best to keep it simple in the bedroom, back at the hotel, Milad is doing his bit to make sure the impending VIPs enjoy some good night Zs. This is the door, make all the noise, squeaky noise, so Alex couldn't sleep. So I'll fix it now to keep Alex happy. No noise. <coughs> brilliant, brilliant. <coughs> Smell terrible. <coughs> Handyman. And to create a warmer welcome, Alex has arranged to give the Paramount's exterior a much slicker sheen. The new look, Paramount. The new Paramount Hotel. Yeah. yeah. And it so does make the up. place look more Tide. professional, actually. Tidy and yeah. clean. Yeah, yeah, it is really nice. All that remains is for Mary and Milad to put their newly developed, more professional management structure into place as they work together to bring the bedrooms up to scratch. No, no, come on, Mary, don't, don't laugh, please. Come on, come on. What are you doing there? Oh, my love. <laughs> OK, we've got a lot to do. Uh, put the pillow and the duvet on. Five minutes of break, come on. Yeah, you have a break. <laughs> For goodness sake, why do the cleaners remove the Mattress protect us. Why do I have to check everything? Oof. Just relax. Breathe in. I think Mary's worried about today. She's a bit nervous. Oh, I don't ask. I will not do anything now. I'll go back and check the room so when I've come down a bit and I've had a cup of tea. Five more minutes, that room will be ready. Promise. So how did you manage without me? Was that it? was easy. You've really done well, my lad. Yeah. It's time for the woman's touch now. Wow, that is nice. Beautiful. Oh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> With the toned down rooms finished just in time, the couple are ready to welcome their VIP guests. The agents are responsible for placing contractors in hotels all around Nottingham. He impressed them, and the Paramount could win a slice of this reliable and potentially lucrative market. We're waiting for the feedback to see the reaction, what they think about the rooms. But uh, touch wood, uh, I'm, I'm happy. Can Mary and Milad prove the dream team? Welcome to the Paramount Hotel. Um, or will the new-look Paramount turn into a nightmare?
If they don't get it right, I really don't think that Mary and Milad will be able to hang on to the hotel. Alex Polizzi is at the Paramount, helping owners Mary and Milad save their blundering business. Milad, you need to switch it on to make a coffee. But if he's on, <laughs> me. After urging the hapless couple to clean up their act, Alex pushed the Mansours to make over their brassy bedrooms. Done. In a bid to boost business, she plans to relaunch the Paramount as the go-to guest house for local contractors. And she's invited three key agencies to stay the night to check out the hotel. I'm hoping to see a welcoming, friendly environment, nice furnishings, nice and simple but contemporary. Today, we'll also see the Mansours throw a promotional soiree for the cream of Nottingham's business community, a make-or-break chance to put the hotel back on the map. Can they talk the right language? Can they impress these people with their professionalism, with their desire to succeed, and then start to make their guests happy? Aha! Hello, Alex. Don't your signs look great? Yeah. They look lovely. Nice to see you again. Don't you look smart? Oh, thank oh, you. I'm longing to see the bedroom, so can we go straight up there? We can no go problem. straight up there, Thank yes. you very much. OK. Will Mary's attempt to tone down her tawdry taste meet with Alex's approval? So, this looks very nice. Yes. A very different colour scheme. Yes. And new bed linen, is it? Yeah. Do they now have a mattress protector on them? Yeah, they do. Yes, boss. Yeah, they do. God, she doesn't trust anyone. Anyway. <laughs> ah, they do. They do, they do. OK. OK. Just checking. I think these rooms look very fresh and clean and, yeah. and kind of what the modern traveller likes, you yes. know. But mm. do you think that this is an appropriate look for bedrooms? Have you come round a Absolutely. bit to this way of thinking? The end of the day is what the customer wants and is what the business requires. And I think this is more of a business-like. Yeah. Let's hope we get good feedback from our contractor agency. Mm -hmm. Right. With Mary conceding defeat in the war over decor, preparations for the Paramount's relaunch party can begin, with all the family pitching in to help. Today, we've invited proper business people here, and it's incredibly important that Mary zips her lip and that both of them manage to show themselves as equal professionals. I'm frying something, and Mary, Mary, look here, look here. It is a very big day for us today, yes. Stop eating the falafel, Milad. OK. I feel terrible, <laughs> worried, scared Why? a bit. Why are you hungry? <clears throat> no. Yeah. This is the day we're going to hear the feedback about the rooms. I'm hoping for yes. That's why I'm worried. Milad. Why? To win the approval of Alex's VIP guests, Mary and Milad must pull out all the stops. Pour, and I'll invite yeah. them in. No problem. <laughs> Make sure you give me one, Miller. I will. With the pressure on, it's down to Mary to wow the crowd with a confident welcome. I am worried for them at this stage, because, you know, they have the complete ability to pull defeat out of the jaws of victory, and um, I don't want to see it happen today. Welcome to the Paramount Hotel. Um, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, Thank yes, you. it's lovely to see you all. Um, it is a new start for us, new start for the Paramount Hotel, and uh, we've got beautiful um, accommodation, and I would like you to see the accommodation and hope you will like it, and we're happy to see you all. Despite a stumbling start, Mary's <laughs> managed to muddle through. <laughs> It was a rather chaotic start to the event, um, but she did welcome them genuinely. Yeah. The important bit is whether all these people think that they have customers to fill those rooms. It looks as though Alex's demand for the couple to become a more effective management team is paying off, as Milad plays the perfect host. I don't know what price you prefer and what we can offer. While Mary takes charge of showing off the new look bedrooms. Beautiful, Great. lovely, yeah. lovely blue. It's very light, isn't it? Yeah. Fantastic. What a massive improvement. Great use of colours. Looks fresh. After a hard day at work, you come in and, and you want to relax. It's ideal for it. Yes. The cool colour scheme is proving a hit with the punters. 
But it's not just the bedrooms that need to impress. Very, Will very you excuse hard. us a minute? Come of here, course. darling. <laughs> what I really want you to do is make sure that you grab each one of these significant people here and have a little chat with them. Make sure that they know what they need to know about your establishment. To convince Alex's all-important contractor agencies to endorse the hotel, Mary and Milad must prove they can provide a professional service too. This is about business. This is about making sure that we can fill the Paramount's rooms week in, week out, seven days a week. We will be having, we'll be having like a light menu, even yeah. like, like um, egg and chips, um, yeah. fish and chips. The lads love that after sight. The mm. cold, the hungry, and they come mm. home, and that's perfect. Mm. So everything from labourers to specialist trades, skilled tradesmen. You're in the right ballpark, uh, cost-wise. The option is there for you to make some additional changes. <laughs> but we also look maybe for some, some workspace mm. so that they can maybe, you know, work at an evening on their computer, for example. Yeah. Um, so has the couple done enough to win over their VIPs? So you've all stayed the night, you've experienced the best that the Paramount has to offer, you've had breakfast, you've met Milad and Mary, now it comes to the million dollar question. Do you think that you'll be able to recommend people to come and stay here? Absolutely, definitely. From where it's come from, really positive. Definitely green light for going. That's very nice, Richard. I think uh, you're both fantastic, and I would certainly like to add you both to our accredited hotels um, for our contractors. Lovely, thank, thank you, you very, very much. much. I think the work that you've done here is great. As I mentioned, there is some, some work to be done, but uh, with those improvements, we'd certainly like to come back to see if we can then recommend your, your hotel to our, to our clients. Lovely, thank, thank you, you very, very much. much. Onwards and upwards. Thank, thank you. you very much. Thank you. Thank you. So how did you think today went? It was lovely, hectic, Brilliant. exciting. I think the only one who ha was a bit less enthusiastic was Oliver. Oliver. But I think it's helpful to inject some realism into the fact that if you want this place to edge forward, you have to keep improving. Yes. I'm telling you, do not stop looking for new business. You need mm. to follow up with the language schools, you need to follow up with all the contractors. Mm. Keep on trying different avenues. Mm. Because, you know, you cannot just wait for business to come to you. It's over now. It's over so, now. So, um, yeah. We feel tired, but we feel happy. Bye, darling. Bye, Alex. I'm glad I met Alex. See you next time I'm in Nottingham. Yes. Please. That's good. Promise. She's kissed you. She'll give you a big kiss and <clears> shake. <throat> you yeah. don't have to wash your face all week. Next time. I'm glad I'm not sleeping here. This is my favourite, the meerkats. <laughs> Why would you leave a bathroom like this? I'm not here for a confrontation. Do we have Chaz and Dave here? <laughs> if I was in your shoes, I would just sell up. Sorry. Tough advice. A moving real life story next, thanks to Keith Martin and the documentary 70 Stone and Almost Dead on Channel 5.